In this video, I demonstrate how to assemble the reads generated by the Oxford Nanopore base calling program Guppy using Genius Prime. I have opened Genius Prime and created a new folder which I have named based on the daffodil cultivar that was sequenced. First, I add the reference genome sequence to the folder by dragging and dropping it onto the panel. This fast A file can be downloaded from the Daffodil DNA Project website. Next, I locate the folder containing the base called FastQ files. These can be found in the Pass folder. I select all the files using Ctrl or Command A, then drag them onto the panel. A dialog box opens. I select Oxford Nanopore and Don't Pair, then click OK. Then I click on the Create Sequence list. In the Genius Prime folder panel, I select all the FASTQ files but not the reference file. I do this by selecting the first base called sequence, then hold down the Shift key and scroll down and select the last sequence. I'm now ready to assemble the reads. I do this by going to the Align slash Assemble option in the menu bar and select the Map to Reference option. In the dialog box that opens, first I click on the Choose button and select the reference file I want to use from the list. In the Methods panel, I select Medium Sensitivity slash Fast option and iterate up to five times. This takes a little time to compute but gives good results. I then select the Do Not Trim option. And in the Results panel, I add the file name I want to call the assembled sequence and tick Save Assembled Reports Save Contigs and Save Consensus Sequence. I start the assembly by clicking OK. The assembly can take a little time but eventually it completes. The results from the assembly are added to the folder. Each of the files has an icon depending on its type. This icon tells you that it is a text folder. The assembled sequence has a nucleotide sequence icon. But first let us look at the aligned reads. They can be identified because they have the Assemble Contigs icon. This black line shows the location of the reference sequence. The blue plot shows how well the reads cover the alignment. Below this are the aligned reads. If I scroll down, we can see that some reads are long and others are short. I can zoom in and view the individual bases and colour them in various ways. I want to save the consensus assembled sequence. To do this, first select the assembled sequence. The sequence can be exported by clicking the Export menu in the menu panel and select Export Document. Then select FASTA file format. I save the file onto the folder of my computer. I now have assembled sequence that I will examine in Jalview.